Okay, so today I'm going to walk you through how I do tea dyeing. Now, I want to be very clear. I did not invent this method. This is kind of my interpretation of the method. I'm going to actually um, do a little experimenting tonight with you because I have these teas that, frankly, I'm not going to use before they expire. So I thought, why not see what kind of color they give me? So what I'm going to do first is walk you through um, all of the products that you'll need, all of the materials you'll need to get this going, and then we can try it together. <laughs> We're going to spend our Friday night together, so thanks for hanging out with me. Okay, all right, I'm going to show you the products first, so let me get to that. Okay, so what we're going to do tonight is a little bit of experiments, like I said, but the first one is a very classic coffee tea dye. Again, not my method, but this is my interpretation of the method. So what you're going to need for it is just regular Litsyn, which is a box of regular Litsyn. I'm going to use 10 for the amount of um, fabric that I'm using tonight. I wish that there was a more clear definition of if you use this many bags, it will be this color. If you use this much coffee, it will be this color. There just isn't that I've seen. Uh, it, it's all kind of experiment based for me so far. I like a medium color. I don't want it super dark, but I definitely don't want it to be super light because then what was the point? So I like to find that medium balance. I'm going to add in some instant coffee as well when it comes to a boil. I'm going to add the instant coffee so it'll be a coffee and tea and hopefully that will give me that medium color so i'm going to use pieces of ada tonight i have this jerry fabric it's kind of like a yellowy i hope you can kind of see that i'll compare it to the white so this is the white that i'm going to put in there and this is like a yellowy creamy color i just i would never stitch on this color i mean i don't mean that to be offensive i'm just it's not my style I love this fabric though, it's super soft. And she gave me the most giant cut of this fabric. Like I'm not exaggerating, it was about this big. So I want to use it. So this is a way to use it. I've already cut a piece of this, dyed it, loved it and used it. It's in my Stitch Mania. So I'm hoping to repeat that tonight. Let's hope. Okay, so next up I have these, um, oh, let me also explain. In the, um, you're gonna see me throw these bags in instead of just the lifted bags. So what I've taken, these are kind of old. They're so old, they're from Tivana, which does not exist anymore. But I know that you can still buy these filter bags. So I don't use these to make my tea anymore. I use an actual like glass cup with um, the metal ball kind of thing. So they're kind of just taking up space in my pantry and my husband and I are definitely not just having space, something to take up space kind of people. So it needs to either be used or thrown away. So I've been trying to dye and come up with ways to use it. So this should be gone soon. <laughs> but that's what I'm using tonight. I've had these tea bags break on me before. They actually break kind of easily. And then you have to wash the tea off of your fabric when you're done. And that's kind of a pain. It's not difficult. I've seen a couple tutorials where they were like, oh, it's so hard. It's, it's really not. I just rinsed it. Now, did that take out some of the color? Probably. So this is probably a better way. I don't even know if this is going to work. You're going to experiment with me tonight. But I feel like this is a good method. We're just going to try it. Okay, so you need your instant tea, your Lipton, and your bags. That's all you need right now for that one. So I'm going to try two other teas while we're at it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I have them left over from a tea that I tried to make and again they're just kind of taking up room and they're going to expire before I actually ever use them. So I figured let's try them tonight. So the first one is a red. It's organic vanilla red and I got both of these at this place on the strip called Presta George. It's a tea place and if you see the name Presto George they have a website and they deliver and I highly recommend them. <laughs> they are awesome and their delivery fee is super cheap and I'm pretty sure, I don't wanna speak out of turn, that they deliver um, anywhere in the US. Ooh, I probably shouldn't say that. Maybe, go check out their website. But I know that they delivered to me and it was really fast, so I highly recommend. Okay, so 
besides smelling good. I'm hoping it'll give me like a little bit of a pink color. I'm using a lot. I'm gonna use five bags of it, which is about a cup. So we'll see what color I get. Again, I'm using the exact same things. I had uh, another piece of that Jerry fabric and I had another white. So I'm gonna use the same colors for that one because I love pink and if I can get some pink fabric, I would be very happy. The last one is kind of, I don't wanna call it a Hail Mary, but I don't, we'll see. I really have no clue if this one's gonna work. But this is an organic peppermint, which is not a tea that I would generally drink anyways. It kind of gives me heartburn. I bought it to go in a blend along with this one that I made, and I didn't need that much of it, but a quarter gets you a lot. It's a very light tea. So that's the one, just in case you want to see what that looks like. I don't think I showed the red one up close either. That's what the red looked like. We'll see. I bagged up, again, five bags of that, and I'm double bagging that. So I bagged it and then bagged it again just to make sure that that doesn't pop out because at least... The red is kind of all over my counter right now, and that one's kind of a pain. So I'm thinking that one might not be great. And I'm just gonna do that one on a straight up white. See what color we get. If we get like a mint greeny. If we get nothing good, then I mean, whatever, what's lost? This was just sitting in my drawer of fabrics anyways. So we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, so the next things you need, I'm gonna come back. You just need to get our tongs and baking sheet. I put the tin foil on it because these are my actual baking sheets. I mean, we're just tea dyeing fabric, it's not a big deal. Um, but those are two things that you do need. You're also gonna need pots to boil in. I've already filled my pots up with water and I'm gonna show you those in just a second. And then just some extra water to pour on top in case you haven't put enough into the pot. Okay? That should be, I'm looking around and double checking. Okay, that is everything we need to get started. Also, do yourself a favor, preheat your oven to 200 degrees right now because we're gonna be popping it in the oven after we boil this. So I've already got my oven preheated even though it's gonna be a little bit before we get to that stage. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so I have two boilings going on right now. I've put in my tea bags and I've put in my fabric and this is the mint and it's already kind of coming off this like yellowy color, which I'm actually really digging. It's kind of pretty. Um, we'll see if it's too close to that Jerry fabric, this would be really funny that I just dyed fabric to be the exact color of the one I'm trying to get rid of. We'll see. I set a timer for that one for 20 minutes and I literally already recorded this and made a point to say I am the queen of boiling over on this stove and it drives my husband crazy. And of course, that's exactly what happened on my bigger boil. So I've already poured in my instant coffee, um, just so that's why this is empty. Sorry, guys. I tried. But it's already back to a boil, and I'm letting it go. I'm, I'm going to have to clean that up. You know? Take the good, take the bad. <laughs> this, is, this is me. Okay. I don't know why that happened. It must have been the, the coffee that just pushed it over the edge. It was like, no thank you. Okay, so you'll get to watch me start this one up. So this is at a full boil, like boil, boil. So I'm gonna take my bags, these are my Lipton bags, and I'm gonna get these in here. This is like a really yellowy, I'm hoping it turns more green, but it's very interesting the color it's coming off. I should stop cheating, right? Okay, fully submerge those bags so they're nice and in there, and that coffee, is no longer, like I can't see any grains from that anymore. I just see this really, really deep brown color, which is beautiful. For the record, it smells great. Even the coffee tea combination. Sorry, I'm just grabbing my fabrics. I need to put my fabrics into my pot with my tongs, because I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm just gonna fully submerge, oh my gosh, you guys, instantly. Look at that color. It's so pretty and dark, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna get that one fully submerged. I'm gonna get this one fully submerged. And I think that I don't need to add any water. They seem good. Let me get this boiling again. And then I'm gonna show you what they both look like inside of the pot so you can see what I mean by not needing any more water. 
I think we've got a good start going. So, okay, don't boil over while I'm pressing the button. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what it looks like in the pot. And, hey Google, set a timer for 20 minutes. I'm gonna start the timer on this one. And just make sure that it's fully submerged as much as it can be. And then this is what this one's looking like. Which again, this color is fascinating. Honestly, I should have used a bigger pot, but I'm already using the pots that we have. So that one's gonna be for the red. And that's what that looks like so far. And that one's already five minutes in. And that's kind of the color that we're seeing. And it's going to bake and marble, and it's going to change the color and hopefully darken it a little bit more, too. And then again, here's what our coffee dye. Look at the color already. That was that white piece. Like, it's crazy how fast that happens. <laughs> Do you ever just say a word and hear your own accent? Because I really heard my Michigan accent when I said that one. Okay. I'm going to stop this and I will come back to you guys when the boiling is done and we're going to put it in the oven. Okay, I thought I would pop back in just for a second. So this one, um, I can tell it's kind of needing just a little bit more water to keep it fully covered. So I had water ready. So I'm carefully, I'm carefully as I can, pouring just a little bit more water into that one. This one's pretty good, so I don't need to pour any water into that. Okay, so my timer was done with my mint. It was not done with my coffee tea, but I'm gonna stop that one because it is actually pretty dark and I'm pretty happy with it. So that was 15 minutes. I mean, I used a lot of products. I probably didn't need to use quite so much for the color I wanted, but I do like it to be a little bit dark. So um, we'll see how it turns out when we get it out of this. So I'm gonna be taking this over to my sink, just putting this into the strainer um, just to get a little bit of the water out and then putting it onto my Pan. So just bear with me. I'm going to bring you over in just a second. Hold on. Okay, first of all, that is very minty smelling. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell that. It actually smells amazing. Uh, so I'm going to take this one. I put it into the strainer. I'm sure you can see that in the corner there. I just poured it directly in and oh my gosh, I'm so excited about how much it did not drip around. Uh, the colors interesting it's actually pretty much exactly that jerry fabric color <laughs> i'm dying but that's what i did we'll see what happens so it's really hot so you have to be careful handling it right now so i'm gonna scrunch it up pretty good so that in the oven it will give me those really pretty bake lines so i'm gonna just scrunch 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 away tuck in those corners. Okay, so that's the first one scrunched. All right, I'm gonna stop and show you the next one. Okay, so I thought for this one I'd show you me pouring it into there so you could see how that goes. So I'm coming over here to grab it from the stove, put it into my strainer, all that beautiful tea, it smells so good. Okay, and we'll see together, we get to discover, because my glasses are all fogged up and I can't see anything whether or not any of my bags burst. Oh, this color, you guys. I'm really, really happy with this color. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that dark color. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh, that's the prettiest, that's the darkest one I've ever gotten and I'm loving it. I am, as Kristen would say, I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm loving this. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one out. And it looks like my idea of double bagging, it worked. So that's a little tip from me to you. If you wanna make sure, this is really hot, that that doesn't um, come apart. I hope you're seeing the steam. Ooh, looks like I'm a magician. Um, coming off of this, it is. So anyways, the double bagging a tip works really well. I lost what I was saying there, sorry about that. Okay, so again, I am just going to smush, arrange, and I want it to be as flat but as bunched as possible to get those really good lines in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. 
about the sky. I just, again, I just heard myself saying that and my daughter has started saying, oh my gosh, all the time and it cracks me up. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just tuck that under. I don't want the corners sticking out just to help with the marbling. Ooh, that's super scrunched. Okay, so hopefully that will come out really nice now. I'm going to stick this in the oven and I'm going to, well, that just came off my stand. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do it for 20 minutes. So that's what I'm going to put the timer for. I might check it sooner and it might not be 20 minutes. So I will definitely tell you what it ends up being. But right now it's going in. That's what it looks like. Super pretty. And I'm going to put the other one in as well. And we'll see what we get. See you soon. Okay, so my first 20 minute timer is up and I want to show you what it looks like so you can kind of make the judgment call here. I would like to see it get a little bit darker. Um, sorry, that's actually a text from the girls right now. Um, I'd like to see it get a little bit darker. I'm gonna let it stay in there. Let's go like another five minutes and then check it again. And let's look at the one on the bottom. Which, by the way, I held up to the white before it went in. It is definitely like a slight greeny color. So it wasn't a total fail. I don't know what I would ever stitch on this. Maybe something for Halloween. Ooh, now I'm getting excited. Okay, we'll see. So that's what that one looks like. I, again, I'm going to give it some more time. I'd like to get the marbling to be a little bit more concrete than it is. It's not really dry yet, so sorry my oven's so dirty. Okay, so let's give that a little bit more time, and I will be back. Okay, so I did end up going a little bit over that time. So I'd say total time was about 35 minutes. And I'm pretty happy with the color I'm getting right now. So I'm gonna pull these out and I'm gonna let them sit overnight to really dry because they're still a little bit wet. And then we can actually see, I'll iron them and I'll show you the uh, final product. This is what we have so far. And I'm going to also let this sit for another minute and then take it out. Definitely, you can see the water is like a little red, but I mean, it just gave me a brown color. I don't know what I was thinking it was going to give me. I mean, it's a tea. Um, it's okay. It's still a really pretty color. We'll see what it bakes up to look like, and hopefully it'll marble really pretty. But I'm going to do all of that stuff overnight, and I will show you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching with me and hanging out. Okay, so in the morning, I'm still planning on letting these fully dry. Uh, I'm gonna iron them and then show you the final results in picture form, but I just got really excited because of the orange color that I got from that red tea. Can you see the difference in the brown to the orange? And then this is that like greenish color. I'm pumped about this orange. I didn't I didn't even expect that. I didn't know what to expect. I'm really excited. I'm excited to see what they look like tomorrow, but here's my sneak preview. Hi guys. Okay, so it's the next day and here are my results. I let them dry. Some of them, they actually were not dry by the morning. So I put them in the dryer on low for like 10 minutes so that I could iron them. This one, I'm gonna insert the picture here of what it looked like before. So I didn't like it at all when I woke up today and saw it. First off, I guess my rack was not all the way clean from the last time we made chicken on it and some of the like black that got burned on there soaked up into the fabric when it was wet. So that's my fault, completely. And um, I had bigger spots than this, but those don't wash out, which is fine because you're just using the middle of the fabric anyway. So I could have lived with that, but the color was just not cute. So I washed it, it just looked dirty to me. Um, like I said, I'll put the picture in so you can see, but I thought it just looked dirty. Also, it was touching the orange one, and so it soaked in orange, which I thought was really cool. And I tried to make more of the orange come into it, and it, um, it just looked dirty. Sorry, so I washed it. So this is what happens when you wash it and dry it. And I still ironed it and that's the color. So this is it next to white and this is it next to that Jerry fabric. But that's what that looks like. And again, I'll put pictures. So I think the pictures will help more. 
Okay, so the next one I have is the tea dye. This is the natural tea dye. And what colors came out? I love the marbling you can see in there from um, baking it. And I actually like the dark crispy. My husband said it looks like an old map. And I'm like, that's exactly what it looks like. That's what I should stitch on here. So I'm gonna try to find like a cool map to do. Maybe even like a Game of Thrones map or something like that, or just a map in general. I don't know, but I really like the idea of that. So that's this one. And these are in order from my least like to my most like. So this was on white. So that's it next to white. So it really comes out white. This next one was a Jerry fabric. And this is what Jerry fabric looked like before. So this is what it tea dyed to. This is that tea coffee dye. So again, it has a couple of black spots, but I actually don't mind them. I think they look kind of cool on there. And then if you flip it over, those are even lighter. But I like the marbling. I think I like the marbling best on this side, so I might just go for it and deal with those. I have a pattern in mind for this, although I do think something about coffee or tea on this would be cool, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We'll see. But I like that it didn't shrink up very much. It's still very much 14 count, so I'm happy about that. So this is that red tea. I'm ecstatic about this, you guys. I didn't think it would turn out quite this orange. I thought, I was hoping for red or pink, and I got orange and I'm loving it. Like how cool will a Halloween piece look on this fabric? And the marbling that came out of it from baking it, this is the other side. I like both sides. I actually think I like this side better. And I like this little like white spot. I tried to clean that thing and I actually love the way that that looks. Um, but again, this is it next to white, which is what it was to begin with. And then this one is my favorite, ultimate favorite. I'm loving the marbling. I'm loving the color. This was Jerry fabric. So this is what it looked like before it was dyed. This is the after. Um, I'm sure we stated this, but just so you guys are very clear, these are not color fast. If you put these in a washing machine, you're gonna lose the color. Hence exactly what happened to this piece. I mean, I knew that going in, I just thought maybe I can lighten it up. You don't lose it completely, but you're going to lose most of the tea dyeing. So please, if you are a person that cross stitches and then washes their pattern, I'm not that, I don't do that. So this is completely fine method, but if you are that person, don't do that. Don't, don't think that that would be a good idea because you will lose the color and then you'll be mad at me and I don't want you to be mad at me. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, I did not invent this method. This was not my invention. I don't take any ownership in that, but this is just uh, kind of my interpretation of how, how to get it done. I really am happy with my results. I don't like stitching on white and I don't like stitching on this yellow Jerry fabric, but I do very much love the colors that I've come up with and we'll be using these now. So it's just a good way to turn stuff that's sitting around that you're like, oh, I'm never gonna use this into something that you can use. And I just used things that we already had in my house. So I didn't do anything. I didn't go out and buy anything for this. So that's kind of the nice thing too about it. Um, especially while we're all still in quarantine, you can, <laughs> something to do, right? Um, I think that's all I have to say about it. The only other thing I wanna say is that it did kinda of stink up my house. So just be prepared for that. And I don't know if Jody's video is gonna come before or after mine, but I think she would also agree with that statement. It's a little stinky, but <laughs> it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now. Love you guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you really soon.